next video we're going to focus on second order partial differentiation, specifically stationary points, as in identifying them and determining their nature, i.e. max, min, inconclusive or saddle point, which is something you can get with um, partial differentiation and multivariable calculus. So to find the stationary points of a multivariable function, you work out the partial derivatives of the function with respect to x and y and set both of them to equal to zero so you can solve for x and y. So if you look at this example, the function with respect to x, this is another notation which I'm going to use which is a bit easier, um, the function with respect to x, so we have 3x squared, 3y cancels, minus 3y cancels, minus 3, and then the function with respect to y, so you have 3 minus 3y squared. So now what we do is set them both equal to 0. And then we solve, uh, we solve both of them for x and y values. So we have x equals 1. Um, x squared equals 1, sorry. So we have two values, x equals plus 1 and x equals minus 1. So then again in y, we have y squared equals 1, so y equals plus or minus 1. So right now we have four points, four possible stationary points. We have x1, y1, x1, y minus 1, x minus 1, y1, and x minus 1, y minus 1. So we have four points. And say we want to determine their nature, we're going to use second order partial differentiation. So this can be used to determine the nature of the stationary points. We use them, this formula here. So the second order partial differentiation, both with respect to x, times that of y, multiplied by the mixed um, second order partial differentiation squared. So I'm just going to do it with this example which we had here. So we have four points which we need to bear in mind because um, we're going to test them. So we want the second order. So f of x, x, f, f of x, x. And then we want f of y, y, which is, which is how I'm going to write this. And then f of x, y. So I'm just going to do it um, from these equations above. So this function differentiating again with respect to x is 6x. For the y, differentiating with respect to y is negative 6y. For this one, we can either start with fx or fy, but we just have to differentiate with respect to the other variable. So, um, if we have this one, we differentiate with respect to y, we get 0. Same here, if we were to test, we have fy, we differentiate with respect to x, we still have 0. So that's what we have uh, for our values. So. We can put that into our values for d. So we have the second order partial differentiation both with respect to x, so 6x times, um, and that of y, minus 6y, and this is 0, so we can just ignore it. So now we can substitute in our four coordinates to determine the nature. So I'm just going to write them down again. So um, we can see them a bit better. Okay. So now we are going to substitute in the coordinates and see what value of d we get. So we have 6 times minus 6, which is minus 36. So d equals minus 36. We'll do the sums for all of them and then decide what's what. 
So then we have 6 multiplied by minus minus a positive 6 times 6 is 36. So we have minus 6 times minus 6, which is 36. And then we have minus 6 times 6, so minus 36. Um, and so, so now we're going to organise um, the nature of the points that we have. So d equals negative 36. So if d is less than 0, then it's a saddle point. So we have two saddle points. Um, and then we're going to determine, because we have two above d, which is here, and we need these conditions to be met in order to be a local minimum or maximum. So we worked out the second order partial differentiation when both of them are with respect to x here, so 6x, and so we can make another column. So we're focusing on these two points now because we've identified the nature of these two. So for this one, uh, we put in 6x, so that would be 6. 6x would be minus 6. So for this point, we have d is larger than 0, and the f of x, so the differential, and the second order differential with respect to x, is bigger than 0, so this is the local min, because this is bigger than 0, and we have the d value here is bigger than 0, and the second order partial differentiation with respect to x is less than zero. So it's a local max. Or maximum, I should say. Um, yeah, that's it. So this is particularly helpful when you want to work out optimization, um, like maximum and minimum, or if you just want to determine the nature. And that's it.